you to do. How different is this defense from the one that played first of September? In terms uh, we, of the evolution. I, I think that the I, I, the players have continued to improve, you know, from from spring football a year ago to the end of spring and from spring to fall camp and from fall camp to game one and from game one to the last game. There's been improvement uh, almost really to a man. I, I can't think of one one uh, one person in, in the overall unit that hasn't hasn't gotten better each week. A lot of the guys talked about the Tulsa game as being the one that really put you guys over the hump in terms of understanding them, understanding what you guys want, you understanding the players. No, I, I, I wouldn't prescribe to that. I feel like that the defense has played well. Uh, Purdue is electric opponent. Uh, it was a good, solid performance there. Learned about finishing in, in week two. Uh, Boston College, who continue to have a fantastic year. Uh, defensive performance and production in that game was good, and we continue to improve through there. I don't see some crescendo at Tulsa as anything. Uh, uh, significant. And we've had great player-coach relationships. Uh, that we've continued to build and will continue to build on as we move forward. Harrison talked about simply you getting to know them and what they do well, and then getting to know you and what you want as being sort of the basis of the evolution. Would you? How did you see that? I, I think that that's any in any dynamic. You know, you want to build as strong a relationship as you possibly can with the players and the players with the coaches so that we can all move forward and, and grow. Um, there's a lot bigger things happening than just what's happening on the field that you guys get an opportunity to watch. So the more trust that can be built and the more relationship that can be built, the further we can all move forward. And in, in relation to coach to player, the, far, the further along a coach can, can bring a player for his life, for life. So. This is overly broad, but okay. can you point to a couple things that you think you've learned uh, is through this first season? No, not anything in particular. Just moving forward. Um, again, gaining gaining uh, uh, continuity and, and uh, communication with the rest of the staff, growing together as a staff, uh, and just in continuing to improve every every person involved in, at least as it relates to the overall organization, I don't talk on this, Coach Kelly, as it relates to the defensive unit, every person involved in the organization needs to improve from, from the coach all the way down to the equipment manager. Coach, so, each of, day. What do you know about Notre Dame football that you had to learn by experience rather than somebody telling you through this year? Notre Dame football, really, really nothing. I don't know what. Football's football. Football's football at Western Illinois. Football's football at Iowa. Football's football here. Football's football everywhere. You know, players, 11 guys, they put their pads on. They're the same pads. They run full speed into each other. Fundamentally, they have jobs to do, and they, if they don't do them well, then they're going to get whipped. And if they do them well, then they're whipped the opponent. And that's, and that's football. Notre Dame, what I've continued to learn and continue to grow is how awesome this place is. The community, the administrators, everyone is all about these students at this university. It's it's unlike any other institution in the country. The community, the feeling of community, uh, the, the mission of, of everyone that's working to educate these students and student athletes um, is the sole focus. There's really no other hidden agenda. It's fantastic. That's what I've learned about. And what about the spotlight? Does it feel any brighter? Does that impact you in any way? No. 